I now invite Teresa Cheatham, graduating student from the class of 2022, to the platform to give a vote of thanks on behalf of the graduating cohort. Hello, graduates, guests, and platform party. I cannot thank Staffordshire University enough for the honour of asking me to stand here today and give this speech. I want to start with a quote from Eleanor Roosevelt that has motivated me over the past three years. The future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. My journey began four years ago when I decided to return to college to obtain my healthcare diploma with the intention of pursuing a career within the NHS as a theatre practitioner. However, I soon realised that this wasn't the right path for me. Even at this point, the thought of attending university never crossed my mind. And I can honestly say, I don't know what spurred me on to undertake such a massive challenge, but that's just me all over, always looking for the next challenge. Initially, I signed up for forensic investigation, which I enjoyed, but soon came to the realisation that if I pursued this line of study, I wasn't going to get the best out of myself. I realised that, in fact, lectures of a place in nature were of more of interest to me, and I understood the nature so much better. So after my first semester, I decided to swap courses to policing and criminal investigation. I can honestly say that this is where my true journey began. There have been plenty of sleepless nights, tears, panicking emails to tutors, but there have been some really joyful moments as well, especially in court. The satisfaction I now feel for sticking with it and standing here today is one of sheer excitement and a sense of fulfilment. Firstly, I would like to thank Ian Hackley. Without his dedication to us as students, but especially me, I know 100% that I would not be stood here today. I have never met such a gentleman, so kind and patient, and I will never forget his words of encouragement, sorry, <laughs> where he could get a word in each way anyway with me. I have never met anyone like him before, and thank you just doesn't seem enough. Secondly, I would like to thank Dr. Lauren Metcalf. Again, your dedication to us as students goes above and beyond your job description. You are truly inspiring to me as another woman, and I am really grateful for what have you, you have done for me over the past three years. You really are one in a million. I can't go without mentioning Dr. Leanne Saviga Shaw and Deborah Broston Bewley for their upbeat positive attitudes, which really are infectious. You have both helped shape who I have become, and again, without your support and faith in me and dedication to your students, this may have not been possible. I would also like to thank the rest of the department, who have not only had a massive impact on my studies and me as a person, but have always strived for all the students in this room to realise their full potential. I would also like to thank the university for allowing me to begin and complete this journey and all the additional services and guest lecturers who have given up their free time to provide some insightful lectures. But last but by, by means not least to my 2022 cohort, I wasn't sure how I would fit in as the mature student, but it's been a real pleasure to study along you all and I truly wish you all the success for your futures. Congratulations on your graduation day. So please join me in showing our gratitude for our amazing lecturers, technical and support staff. Please stand and let's make as much noise as we can to show our appreciation.